Hi, this is Lawrence from Cresco, and today we're going to talk about how you maintain a spreader. So you're going to want your spreader, obviously, uh, some kind of lubricant. We use fluid film, and then I tend to use gloves, but you don't have to. And lastly, we have a pump, uh, so you can check the pressure and pump it up or decrease the pressure as you like. So the first thing you're going to want to do is check the tire pressure. All you need to do is give it a squeeze and make sure that both are um, pumped up to the same pressure. This is important because if one's higher than the other, it's going to offset your spread pattern. If one tire is lacking pressure, you can use any standard bike pump on our wheels. Next, you're going to want to make sure your hopper is clean of any debris. If you want to check out how you clean the spreader properly, please check out our other video. If you have any debris, that will affect the flow of material through the hopper and it will change your spread pattern. So next, you're going to want to make sure that any pivot points or any fittings are properly greased and we're going to use our lubricant for that. Probably best to just wipe the hopper down and try and coat as much of the metal in the grease as possible. Obviously make sure that your rag is throwawayable, if that's a word. So our gearbox is made of a composite material so you don't need to grease it. Basically it's a high quality plastic inside so it's not going to become victim to rust or corrosion from the fertilizer or salt. But if you have a different spreader, if unfortunately you have a different spreader, um, you will want to either take out the outer casing of the gearbox and spray inside because there will be a metal gearbox in there which will rust down really quickly. That's how you maintain a lawn spreader. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in any other lawn care tips, please visit our channel. We have lots of videos on all sorts of lawn care. If you have any questions, please feel free to put those in the comments down below and make sure you push that subscribe button.